Hi, I'm Steve Adams. At the end of last year, I posed a question on the Racing Index blog, are free tips worth backing? Since then, I've been monitoring the selections of several tipsters who provide their tips for free. In this video, I'll update you on the performances of three of them. That's Lucky Loaders 15, Lucky Lisa's horse racing tips, and betting expert Steve Harris's top horse racing tips. I'll explain a little about each of the services, and then I'll look at how their tips have fared since the start of the year. OK, let's head over to the computer and take a look. First up is Lucky Loaders 15. It's run by Chris Loader, who's a freelance horse racing journalist who fell in love with horse racing back in 2016. Amongst other things, he has worked with Sky Sports Racing, The Racing Post and Radio 5 Live. Chris runs his own In The Saddle podcast and he's been providing tips via his Lucky Loaders 15 YouTube channel since March 2017. You can view his full portfolio at chrisloaderracing.co.uk. I'll leave links to both that and his YouTube channel in the description below the video. Originally when he started the channel, he gave out four tips in the format of a Lucky 15 bet, hence the name of the channel. These days the number of bets varies each day and selections are either win or each way. He provides a nap, next best, long shot and extra selections. Results were recorded at the end of last year from the end of the first lockdown when racing resumed in the 1st of June. He actually achieved 139 points profit. I've not got the splits for all of that profit but you can see his figures for December show that his naps got 23 points profit, his next best got 4.5 points profit whereas the long shots and the extra bets both made a loss. I've been monitoring his selections since the 1st of January 2021 and during that time he's had 90 bets of which 28 of them have been successful. He staked a total of 103 points and based on taking the prices the evening before racing he's made a profit of 33 points. Whereas if you take the best odds guarantee prices at 8am the following morning that profit would have gone down to 24.68 points and back in at SP would have made a loss of 4.82 points. So you can see the return on investment of taking the early prices is 32% which is pretty impressive. If we look at that in a chart format, up until around the middle of January he was actually making a loss with his selections but then he had a really good run of form towards the end of January and going into February and particularly the evening prices did really well. Now because he has a mixture of win and each way bets, I've not actually been monitoring his selections based on Betfair SP, so I haven't got those figures. But I imagine there will be somewhere between the starting price line and the best odds guarantee one. So here's how that profit figure is broken down between his different types of bet. So his nap bets have made over 50 points profit. His next bests are making a loss. His long shots are making a slight profit and his extras again are making a loss. And the figures in the right hand column show how he's reporting the figures on his YouTube channel and how that his has split down. So that's taking his early prices. And as you can see the early prices that I've been able to record are pretty close to the profits he claims on his channel. His videos usually go live on YouTube between 5 and 8.30 p.m. And it's approximately one to one and a half hours after he records the video that it actually goes live. As a result, sometimes the advised prices he mentions in the video are no longer available with the bookmakers. Occasionally, if he doesn't fancy anything as a bet, he won't upload a video. In those instances, there's no way to tell if it's just late or there's no selections. Chris does apologise the following day for not having uploaded, which is nice, but it would be good if there was some way to let people know. If you want to follow the Lucky Loaders 15 tips, to make sure you don't miss any selections, make sure you subscribe to his YouTube channel and click the notification bell. That way you'll get notified as soon as his videos go live. Again, I'll leave a link to his YouTube channel in the description. Chris seems a pretty shrewd judge of value and the majority of the time his selections go off at much shorter odds than his advised prices. Based upon the selections I've been monitoring so far, I recommend taking a price as early as possible. If Bet365 has shown the best odds and you're able to get best odds guarantee with them, then I'd recommend you take it. The majority of the other bookmakers don't offer best odds guarantee prices until 8am or later the following morning. But if Bet365 aren't offering the best odds, then I'd go with one of the other bookies that is. Most likely the starting price will be lower, so the guaranteed higher SP won't kick in. And it's good to spread your bets around to try and avoid having your account restricted by the bookmakers. It's pretty impressive so far. The results since I started monitoring act as a good confirmation of the performance Chris was showing at the end of last year. 
His nap selections look particularly good. I'll continue to monitor his selections to see if he can keep up the fine record. Keeping the lucky theme going, the next three tips I've been monitoring is Lucky Lisa's horse racing tips. That's at luckylisaracingtips.co.uk. Again, I'll leave the link in the description. Following Lisa's selections has so far not proved as lucky as the following Chris Loader's. The bad weather has meant there hasn't been many selections to report on. Lisa has decided to stop providing tips on all weather racing and National Hunt race cards have fallen foul of frozen and waterlogged courses. Selections are generally short priced but despite that they are all advised to be backed each way. I can't say I'm a fan of backing each way at such short prices but I'll keep an open mind while I'm monitoring selections. I can't say I know anything else about the service other than what appears on their website. They appear to be system based selections for races with 5, 8 or 9 runners. Tips usually appear on their website somewhere between 8 and 11am and selections are given a rating of either 1-1 one, one, which is a nap or 1-2 which is the next best. They also put up others to consider that don't quite meet the selection criteria. There's been just 15 bets so far this year of which 4 of those have been winning bets given a strike rate of 26.7%. So that's 15 points state because it's 0.5 points each way. And based on the advised prices shown on the Lucky Lisa site, they made a loss of 4.15 points. Slightly better if you're taking best odds guarantee. And that profit's the same as SP, as all winning selections have either had an SP equal or greater to the early price. And the return on investment has been minus 27.6% for advised prices and minus 23.5 for best odds guarantee in SP. If we look at that on the chart, there's not really a lot to see. The best odds guarantee line is actually below the starting price line because they're both giving the same results. And you can see the advised price is slightly less because a couple of the successful selections have gone off an SP higher than what the advised price was. So the top of the chart is showing break even and all of that is showing a negative. So selections have so far never been in profit. With just 15 bets to analyse, it's far too early to draw any conclusions. A couple of winners could easily wipe out the current losses, but given the short odds, it will need a high strike rate to return an overall profit. Lisa's not had any selections since last Thursday, and assuming that at some point the weather improves and she puts up more bets, I'll continue to monitor the selections. The final one I want to look at today is betting expert Stephen Harris. You can obtain his selections either via the Betting Expert website at bettingexpert.com forward slash racing or you can get them via the Betting Expert YouTube channel. Stephen has over 20 years experience in the UK horse racing industry and has been posting tips at Betting Expert since late 2011. He provides a daily nap and a value angle selection each day. Overall stats are shown for both types of his tips for all selections he has posted. They say you can get a full list of both his naps and value bets. Now I've actually emailed them to request that, but so far I've not received anything yet. Selections appear on the website two days before racing and on YouTube the evening before. Since I've been monitoring, the nap and the value selections have always both come from the same race meeting. And usually the YouTube video is scheduled to go live at 5.30pm. With the selections made two days before, the early odds quoted are often fairly wide of what's actually available by the time most bookmakers price up the races. Occasionally selections will become non-runners by the time the video goes live, and with all the bad weather there's been a few meetings abandoned. The best way to get Stephen's selections is via the Betting Expert website. They include a short write-up to why the horse has been selected. And if you want to get the full reasoning, you'll need to wait until the video goes live on YouTube. You can subscribe to the Betting Experts YouTube channel to get notified when the videos go live. However, they also have videos for other tips, mainly football, which also get notified when they are uploaded. And YouTube has a maximum limit of three notifications per channel in any 24 hour period. So don't rely on getting notified when the tips are live, as often the notification won't come through. Since I started monitoring his selections at the beginning of January, he's had 57 bets, of which 15 of them are won given a success percentage of 26.3%. They're all staked as one point win bet, so that's been 57 points staked. Based on the evening odds at the time the video goes live, there's been a profit of 44.78 points, which gives a 78.6% return on investment. Now that's pretty impressive, but taking the best odds guarantee prices at 8am the following morning has actually returned 50.7 points profit, which gives a return on investment of 88.9%. You can see how that contrasts with the Betfair SP profit, which is only 39%. And the selections have made a profit at SP of 29.73%. If we break that down between the daily nap and the value angles, the daily naps have made 8.7 points profit, whereas the value angles have made 42 points profit. 
If we look at that on a chart, we'll see that again, throughout the start of January, selections were making a loss, but from around the 21st of January, they've been firmly in profit. On the whole, there's not been a lot of difference between the evening prices and the morning best odds guaranteed. One significant difference came with Born to Be Alive's win on the 3rd of February. Stephen put it up at odds of 8 to 1, and it was available at 12 to 1 with a few bookmakers in the evening when the video went live. There was no best odds guarantee on that price at that time. The horse won at an SP of 18 to 1, and as you can see from the Betting Expert website, that's the price they've settled the bet at. However, if you've taken the price the evening before, you'd have been paid out at 12 to 1. On other occasions, they quote the early odds in the results. For example, if we look at the following two horses, Tash B was quoted at 5 to 1, but the SP was 11 to 4, and Den Ali was quoted at 14 to 1, but the SP was 9 to 2. This does raise the question about the performance results shown on their site. But having said that, I've seen other occasions when bigger evening prices have been available than those they show in their results. There just doesn't seem to be any consistency in the results they quote. Like Chris Loder, Stephen has been in excellent form since the start of 2021. It's clear he knows his stuff. I do have a slight concern regarding the prices used in his performance results. I'll continue to monitor his selections and will provide updates on all free services over the coming weeks. So make sure you keep an eye out for future updates. I'll also be uploading more videos over the coming days for other tipsters I've been monitoring, both free and paid. Hit the subscribe button and ding the bell to make sure you get notified when new videos are uploaded.